Welcome to the Drew Deke Show post-game edition. The Habs lose 3-2 in overtime to the Ottawa Senators. To those that watched last night's post-game episode against the Leafs where we lost 5-3, you would have saw what looked like to be a Bubbles impression from Trailer Park Boys. But in fact, it's actually not Bubbles, it's Troubles, Bubbles' long-lost cousin. And he wants to tell you his reaction, or to show you his reaction, after tonight's loss to Ottawa. God, sucker! It wasn't a swear. He actually said, cod sucker. (sighs) Don't you touch my frickin' belly. Got some really good feedback from the last episode from Troubles, a.k.a. Bubbles, whatever you want to call them at this point. But if you guys would like to see a full post-game episode done by Troubles, leave a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll see if I can make it happen. Let's talk about this game tonight. Nick Suzuki getting a beautiful goal to open this game up. A pass from Josh Anderson on what was kind of a turnover play. Suzuki gets it and just releases it so quickly. He's got such a quick release and he buries it top corner, giving the Habs the 1-0 lead. Sens fans, in addition to being excited about Tim Stutzla, should also, of course, be excited about Eric Brandstrom. He looked great in this game, going coast-to-coast for a great chance tonight. I'm almost looking forward more to Ottawa's future than Montreal's at this point. I know I'm just a little sour after the loss, but the truth is, the Senators are playing with heart. They know where they're at in the standings. They know where they're projected to be but they're just able to push through sometimes against the best teams in this division. And Montreal, don't know that they're one of the best teams in this division anymore. How many breakaways did Jake the Snake Allen stop tonight? Was it five? Was it 10? It was somewhere in between there, no doubt about it. And something's really wrong in Claude Julien's head if he doesn't start Jake Allen in this next game against Ottawa on Tuesday. I'm not going after Pricey. I love the guy, love him as a human being, love him as a goalie, but right now Jake Allen is the way better goalie at this point. Save Montreal's butt in this game. They really should have had no chance to even go to overtime if it weren't for him. Why do we have to rely on Scory Perry, beautiful goal by the way, with a dangle and tying up this game 2-2? Why? <laughs> That's the kind of desperation plays goals we need at this point because our top guys just can't get it done. The power play, don't get me started. The Canadians right now, as far as I'm concerned, are power play lists. For those of you folks out there suggesting that the Montreal Canadiens should not bring in and sign Cole Caulfield to help out this power play, you got a better idea? It's true. It is sad. We shouldn't have to bring in a brand new player, a rookie, to help solve the Montreal Canadiens power play woes. It's very clear that the problems are much deeper than that. One thing Mark Bergevin had to see in this game was that we are power play-less right now. The power play had an opportunity to tie the game multiple times in this game, maybe even get some momentum and even get the winning goal from there. But we can't generate anything on the power play, man. There's just no confidence. It's at a sink. It's not even just the power play. This whole team is kind of at a sink as it is. There's just some incomplete areas on this team. There's still some holes. And Mark Bergevin has some decisions to make before this trade deadline. The last play of the game, there's some confusion it looks like between Anderson and the defenseman. He doesn't take Brady Kachuk. He gives himself an opportunity to bounce the puck off Romanov, gets his own rebound, and he buries it past Allen to win it 3-2 for the Sens. It was pretty clear that Anderson wasn't sure if he should take the man who was Kachuk or look out for the pass that was going to go the other way. But man, he's right there. Like That was a tough play to watch Josh do. Definitely thought that he should have took Kachuk there, but I couldn't see what he was seeing, so I don't know. Thank you for tuning in to the Drew Deke Show post-game edition, guys. We will see you on the next one against the Ottawa Senators in a couple of nights from now. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing so far. I appreciate the support. We're coming up on 500 subscribers, which is just amazing. Fantastic. I really appreciate it, guys. So we will see you soon. Ricky, put me down.